your, your weight, the weight of your, uh, of your goods, and the bill is just sent to you. We, that is progressively, that's where we are going to go. But in so far as maintenance is concerned, I have answered that question. We will maintain the, the money so that we ensure that they are used. Uh, I didn't get properly, Rehab, uh, the question, Honorable Rehab Mukami, on the trained, the trained personnel. Uh, you don't need to repeat it. The point is this. Since those are specific issues that are touching on specific trained personnel uh, who perhaps have been ignored or not given opportunity to serve, despite the training, they spend a lot of money. That's how I understood. Uh, I will take over that matter with you personally uh, once approved. Uh, Lapse, oh, sorry, I forgot Lapse. Uh, that's a very important one. Yeah, uh, Nyeri, and uh, uh, I am aware of the Mau Nyeri. Mau roads. I'm, I'm aware of the Mamau roads. They are part of the roads that we promised, as uh, and they, this government promised that they will complete all the started roads. I am actually particularly aware about those road, that road because uh, I have relationships in around your area, and so when I went there the other day, they reminded me that they want to go to. Uh, Nyandaro without going the long route because the road is already provided. But you know, there's also the issue of conservation, <laughs> dealing with the KFS and KWS and the question of the elephants. We must do our roads but also conserve the environment. So we'll have that conversation to ensure that conservation of environment will be achieved but pe people will be able to move in good time. Let me respond to the issue of Lapsed, which I forgot. Mr. Speaker, you are in the cabinet of President uh, Mwai Kibaki that established Lapsed. And you know Lapsed was put in the office of the president as a coordinating body to ensure that those projects along the Lapset corridor are, are, are uh, implemented. The first thing I'll do is to uh, put together all the implementing agencies, uh, improve the coordination of Lapset as an authority itself. Maybe, if need be, we can bring it as a legal entity properly with, uh, within an act of parliament, if, if, if need be. Number two, the Lapset Corridor must be developed, and I think I should have answered this when I was uh, answering uh, Honorable Mishi's question. The Lamu port have, has already been completed. We had three parts, baths have been developed, but there are no goods that are uh, docking there. There are no ships that are docking there. What we are going to do is, uh, so far, the road from Lamu, Ijara, uh, Garissa is complete. But it's not a road, Mr. Speaker, to be proud of and say, uh, oh yeah, it's complete, then we go. It's a Maram road constructed 40 million per kilometer. Mr. Speaker, the first thing I'll do is to have a conversation with the contractor who was given that job and look into the procurement uh, procedures and the law with the possibility of just adding something small on top of what the contractor was given for make sure that that road is stomached. And then the road from Garissa to Isiolo has just been awarded. Mr. Speaker, we must also push to ensure that it's stomached. It's not, Ma it's not uh, a Maram Road. And then now it will connect from Isiolo to Moyale, where we hope that Kenya Ports Authority will put their uh, inland container depot. We also ensure that the Isiolo I, I'm going to find out why exactly the Isiolo port is not functioning, Mr. Speaker, uh, for the reasons uh, that m I'm told the runway was short, uh, the co contract uh, was not to the standard that was required. We will see, Mr. Speaker, all those issues. That, that corridor will open up. Uh, runway is very short. Yeah, it, it's too short. So, Mr. Speaker, all that region must be open, Mr. Speaker. And the Bible says a nation is judged by the way they treat the weak, Mr. Speaker, and the marginalized. We must now open up these areas that have been marginal for a long time, which were then called non-high potential. We must make sure that they are high potential. Opening up those roads, opening up the infrastructure, Mr. Speaker, we have a market in, uh, in South Sudan of 50 million, in South, South Ethiopian part of uh, bordering Kenya and Moyale, of 50 million people. If we are not careful, if we don't finish Lapset immediately, Mr. Speaker, we are in danger of Ethiopians moving to uh, Djibouti uh, port at the expense of a shorter route that would, uh, the goods would have come from uh, uh, Lamu port, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I think